We are heading right now down to hunt with our friends at Meadow Brook Game Farm in Westmoreland, Tennessee. Uh, came down here last year and, and we had a great time hunting together and getting out here and getting after some pheasants and some chucker. And both were species I had never been able to hunt and you can't hunt, you know, around here unless you come somewhere like Meadow Brook. So we came down here and hunted them. Today we're going to be hunting pheasant again and we're going to have some quail in the mix today too. We didn't do any quail last year so this year we're going to be doing some quail hunting as well. We got Roger McMullen down here with me doing some filming and uh, Richard Kirby was tied up today. Roger was gracious enough to come down here and film with me. We're going to have a big time. Uh, really looking forward to it. We had a, had a great guide last year and a great hunt and uh, looking forward to the same thing this year. Mm -hmm. Baby. Jump on it. There you go now. All right. No, don't you bring it back in. All right, pick him up on the run. Good job. <laughs> Down to far end, you'll never get him. All right. All right, baby. I should, Davey. See you down the part of him while he's looking. All right, Earl. Go get him. Way to start out. These pretty birds right there. Oh, there he is too, isn't he? Oh, hello. 
Gordon, their friend. There you go, Doc Kelly. Good job. Good job. Rush him, Daddy. Rush him, Daddy. Jump on him. Rush him, girl. Rush him. Rush him, Daddy. There you go, Doc Kelly. Kill him, Roy. All right, man. There you go. That was Roy, Daddy. Good kill. through and we've, we've had a great morning so far with chucker and pheasant and what we're going to do now is we're going to turn around and actually go over here to the woods and do a little quail hunting so been looking forward to this we're going to switch from our six shot over to some seven and a half go after some quail Watch him, 
Watch it, baby. 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 I want to make sure there wasn't no dogs close to him with him being that low. Alright. Got him. Here we go! I'm Jimmy White, I live in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and I've been helping them, this be 46 years guiding here. The Denning family owns it, and um, uh, we have quail, uh, quail, chucker, and pheasants, and they've been in business about 60 years. Ms. Denning uh, that owned it, she just passed away this last summer, 95 years old. And uh, so it's, uh, we have a Sometimes we hunt five and six days a week. We don't hunt on Sunday. So you've seen a bird or two fall, haven't you? Yeah, and I've heard every excuse because <laughs> I missed a bird too. Did we give you any new ones today? No, you hadn't no. heard yet? No, I don't get any new they ones. They were all repeat, huh? Well, we've had a great time. Uh, I know Roy and Daryl, y'all would both agree with that. It's been another fantastic day out here um, riding around with Jimmy, chasing his birds. And today we had a different dog. We had Patch here today, and we had Daisy again. We had her last year. Um, but Patch was here today, they did a fantastic job and uh, got out there and got it done. Now that we've all had a chance to sample these two guys, I'm sure y'all would agree, but they eat really well too. Yes, pheasants um, are great. The, yes, the pheasants were delicious last year, the chucker were too, and this yep. year we got some quail in them. Now I've had a lot of quail, so I already know how good they are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jimmy, tell me, a little, there's a little difference. I'm gonna set this shotgun down there fast. There's a little difference in this bird right here we were talking about earlier. What did you call this bird? That's a Tennessee red. So that's they're that's, a whole lot darker, and they're a good hardy bird, and most of the time a little bit bigger than the in the regular Bob White. You can see that you compared that. here, mm -hmm. color wise and size wise. Yeah, big difference in those birds there. Huh. So really, really neat to see the different that different bird. I had not I had not seen the Tennessee red before. Mm -hmm. I wasn't familiar with that. So. Uh, but guys, another great day again. I, I urge you to get out here. If you want a chance to come hunt pheasant, chucker, things like that, uh, here in our area, you need to reach out to these folks up here at Meadowbrook and, and get down here with them, hunt with Jimmy, and get out here with these dogs. It's a great time, great place to bring your family and friends and get out here and do this. I know we have thoroughly enjoyed it. We're tired now. We did a lot of walking today. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did a lot of walking. Uh, but it was it was well worth it. And I'm saying we'll definitely be back again, won't we? Yep. Do it all over again. So, Roy, I appreciate the invite. Good to be here with you guys again. There, had a great time. Um, we're gonna get on back up here to the house, get these birds cleaned up, 
go get us some lunch somewhere, I believe. I think Daisy's more tired than y'all <laughs> I are. think Daisy's she, the... We she, had a big hunt yesterday and just wore her out. She needs a day off. Yeah, her letter might. Uh, she, <laughs> he got a little inch on his ear, uh, Duke, so he wasn't be able to do a little surgery. And so, I know Patch is just 18 months old. I think he does right, good job for 18 months I old. I think he did a real good he job. He did a real good job. Yeah, he did. Thank y'all for coming. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you for having me.